Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm going to be doing my hypothetical Trump versus Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez prediction. Now obviously she can't run in this election cycle. She actually can't run until 2028 because she's not 35. But hypothetically, if she could run and she was running for 2020, this is how the map would look. I'm going to give you a no BS rundown of how it would look. All right, so Alaska, obviously safe red. Hawaii, safe blue. Uh, California, I, I still see, I see California as safe blue. Uh, but Oregon, Oregon is a state I think tilts in her column. She's very, very unpopular nationally. She's very, very unpopular. She's less popular than Trump in her home state of New York. Uh, Oregon is a state Trump will do much better in if she was the nominee. But Oregon has a big uh, Bernie following there, so I think that it still would stay in her column. Washington, a similar thing. I think Washington would be by a slightly larger margin. Nevada, now I believe Nevada would probably be leans. Now there's a lot of, well, no, it'd probably be likely Trump. Uh, Trump went it by around five to six points when it's all said and done. I think that there would be a lot of Latinos that would turn out for her, but there's also a lot of Latinos that don't like what she has to say, that don't support things like socialism, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. the Green New Deal. That's not going to go over very well for suburbs where you're going to have to trade in your car, where they're going to have to restructure all the buildings and infrastructure. Honestly, I think that would make Arizona safe. Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, the Dakotas would be safe. Nebraska, including the second district, would be safe as well as Kansas and Oklahoma and Texas. Uh, states here in the south would obviously be safe, including Georgia, by the way. I think North Carolina would be safe. Trump could probably carry that by a lot more than 10. Uh, Bush carried it by, I believe, around 12 points in 2004. Uh, Indiana, Missouri, of course. Iowa is a state I see being safe. Uh, he won it by almost 10 points. He'll win this by over 10. Same thing with Ohio. Now, well, Illinois, Chicago is just too big. I think that Cortez will carry the state by around 10 points in this situation. I think Minnesota does tend to vote for the weirdos. Um, it, it, hypothetically, look at Ilan Omar uh, being elected there as among some crazy governors and representatives uh, as a whole. So I think that should be a little closer in Minnesota just based off that fact alone. It's kind of strange. So I think that I think it'd be around four points. And I think the rest of the Rust Belt is likely. Uh, honestly, well, Wisconsin, never mind. Wisconsin, well, you know what? There's a lot of Bernie bros in Wisconsin, places like Madison. They'd probably turn out for her. I think Pennsylvania would stay safe. Uh, I think Michigan, Michigan would be likely as well. Uh, say to Virginia, uh, Cortez really doesn't. Cortez does not appeal to the Democratic uh, business Democrats establishment. There, I don't think they'd turn out for her. If you look at what happened to Bernie in the primary against Hillary, he only got like thirty percent of the vote in Virginia. That alone, in Florida, Florida, oh man, oh man, all those Cubans. You think they're gonna like the socialism of uh, from Alexandria Ocasio Cortez? They're they're gonna vote. They're not gonna vote for exactly what they fled. Florida. We'll see a very strong turnout from Venezuelans, from Cubans there, oh, whoops, alone to give Florida to Trump by a very wide margin. I can't believe we forgot Colorado and New Mexico. Now, Cortez on weed is probably going to be more beneficial to Colorado. That will go to Trump by less than five. Now, New Mexico, on the other hand is a state where demographically Trump is not favored, but I, I still think he pulls it off in the end because that's how crazy Cortez is. You'll also see probably a Democratic establishment third party in this situation, like Howard Schultz or somebody, that could come in and take away votes away from a typical Democrat in this case anyway. So I think that Trump would carry New Mexico, even though he'd probably get around 45% of the popular vote. I think that that would be enough against a, a batshit crazy candidate like Cortez. Now, same thing I see with Maine's first district. Go to him narrowly. Uh, Maine at large would probably lean to Trump, and Maine's second district would be safe. Now, New Hampshire would probably be likely Trump, and Vermont would be safe. Massachusetts would be safe. Oh, whoops. Uh, not that. And uh, uh, as for Massachusetts, that would be safe. Rhode Island, on the other hand, would probably be lean for Cortez. 
Uh, Republicans did a little bit better in the governor uh, election race there. Uh, they had that Asian guy running. He did fairly well, especially in a midterm that favored Democrats so much. As for Connecticut, Ned Lamont there is going to drive Republicans out to the polls like crazy. Uh, I think Trump would flip Connecticut in this situation, even though he'd probably only need 45%, because again, you'd probably see a big third party in this race that would come up and uh, cause havoc. Now, in the state of New York, obviously Cortez being less popular than Trump is telling. Now, I don't think Trump would win New York, but I'm just going to, for the sake of uh, humor, put it in the likely column. Now, in New Jersey, where people, more moderate state than New York, where people can see how bad she is, I obviously think that New Jersey would uh, probably tilt to Trump's column. Uh, Delaware is a state I I don't really know too much about. It's very small. It'd probably be easier to flip than you think it is. But I think it would I think it would lean for Cortez. Maryland I think would be safe as well as D.C. So this is our final map, guys. Three hundred seventy-seven for Donald Trump, and a hundred and sixty-one for Cortez. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this hypothetical video. Please like it. Uh, comment. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and like us on Facebook, links in description. And please donate to the Patreon as we're listeners supported. You can get some awesome perks starting at just a dollar a month. Um, and thanks again for watching, guys. Red Eagle, out.